What's going on everyone? I'm Cosmo. Welcome back to another video and today I am in Forza Horizon 5 because I want to try a video idea that I've had for a while now. So I'm often on the auctions and I'm browsing around and I see a lot of really cool cars, like a lot of really, you know, tastefully modified cars. But I also see some atrocities, guys. <laughs> and I'm not trying to hate on anybody, not trying to do that, just, uh, just honestly, you know, want to give these cars a better life, you know, I want to, uh, buy some of these cars, tune them up, make them look good, and then, uh, oh boy, and either auction them off or give them away as gifts, uh, depending, well, we'll see how much money I have, <laughs> I am also kind of broke myself in this game, but hey, let's give it a go, guys. Now, like I said, there's some really good examples of cars out there in the auctions, but then you come across like a CTSV with a Natasha livery <laughs> or just some other atrocity. For example, like this Audi R8 or this Lamborghini Urus. Now, I don't even really like the Urus. Uh, I don't even know if I'm saying it properly, to be honest. Knowing the proper pronunciation of that car is above my pay grade anyways. But uh, yeah, guys, I bought both of these cars and I am going to modify them. Well, remodify them. I'm going to drive them as is first and then I'm going to, uh, well, spice them up a little bit, make them look good and I guess uh, either give them away or auction them off. So let's get the first one. There you are. Oh my goodness. Looks like a unicorn threw up on it. <laughs> it's an S2, so that's pretty good. It means it's got some mods on it. Doesn't mean anything because I'm basically going to be redoing it all anyway. I mean, I guess the only redeeming factors are the Roadrunner and uh, Bugs Bunny. <laughs> but the paint job is like, it's it's next level. I'm, I'm refraining from saying mean things. Let's just put it that way, okay? And the wheels, I mean, not my choice choice, you know, anodized purple, like deep anodized purple. It just, it doesn't really go well with the car, you know, the ride height's kind of wonky. I think the wheels might be a little too big as well. Let's see what we can do to this thing, but first, let's actually drive it. Now, I'm trying to think what, uh, what kind of theme I want to do on this car. Uh, it would be cool to do, like, actually an FD spec car with it, you know, but I don't know. I, oh boy, it already kind of drifts. This thing's fast, man. It's really hard to mess up a car setup in Forza. Like, basically any car you set up is going to drive well. It might not drive as well as other cars, and it might not be competitive, but it's never going to be like, oh wow, like this is, this is awful, you know? So in terms of setups, I mean, there's not a whole lot I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to go over it and uh, see what's up, uh, see what it had on it, and then see if maybe we can modify the setup somehow, make it a little bit better. But this is pretty darn good guys i mean this setup is not that bad i like it let's see if we can actually grip oh boy oh boy we might need some front arrow on that might need some front arrow if we're gonna have that much speed Whew. yeah she's quick she is quick oh boy oh no oh no 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 <laughs> did not see that coming at all okay guys well let's bring this thing back to the garage or i guess let's go back to our home and hop into the tuner and see what we can do so let's see if he had any engine swaps. He did. He had a V12 in there. Interesting. I mean, I'm thinking of just keeping the V10 for now, potentially. I kind of want to keep it an S1, you know, like a good S1 car. S2 might be a little too much for it. So let's go with that. Do we want to go drift car? Drift car might be cool, but I mean, it's also an R8. It's not really meant to do that. <laughs> Neither is a Dodge Viper though, and there are drift Vipers, like official drift Vipers. So I don't know. We'll come back to that. V10 twin turbs. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Sender, bud. All right, arrow. As much as I don't really like those cannons on the sides, I feel like front air will help this thing. Let's keep it off for now. I understand why the other guy didn't put it on too. Stock wing looks pretty good, actually. I don't know if I'm a fan of this one. And removed wing makes it look like... Huh, I actually kind of like that. But it does make it look kind of goofy. Maybe by keeping it an S1 and keeping the arrow off will actually uh, be okay. Because it's not going to be crazy fast. We'll see. All right, let's see what we have for wheels here. So he had slicks on it. Slicks make sense. Width as wide as we go. 285s, 265s. Yeah, I guess 285s all around. 345s in the rear. Wow. Yeah, what am I saying? 285s all around. What about offset here? Those are sunken like crazy. Definitely need a little bit better fitment. That looks good. And the rear, a little too pokey. There we go, perfect. And let's see what we got for wheels. I gotta get rid of that color, man. I gotta get rid of that color before I do the wheels. And I guess I can't change the size of them. Interesting, okay. So I guess that wasn't their fault either. <laughs> Clutch, that looks good. Transmission, 10s all around. 10s all around, baby, nine speed. Lighter drivetrain, sure. 
Why not? Oh, wow. Brakes aren't even upgradable. I guess it's uh, it's got whatever it's got. I guess let's go with race suspension. Not gonna worry too much about sway bars. Ooh, we might just get away with not even doing any performance. Nice. Nice. Okay, so we're at 900 with no engine mods whatsoever, which is interesting. We do have a twin turbo installed. So if I were to take that off, it'll go back to 886, but why would we do that? And uh, I think I'm gonna keep this thing all wheel drive indeed. Just gonna make it a track monster S1. I think it might be time to paint this thing up and then change the wheels up, guys. Let's do it. Wow, only 13 grand for that. Beautiful. I guess because I already own some of the stuff that came in the car. That makes sense. Paint car. Yes, I would like to remove this looks much better when it's clean like that <laughs> actually i should put some wheels on it first if that's the case Alrighty, wheel wise we can't cross 900 so that's gonna be interesting honestly i didn't think i would like five spokes on this thing but these speed lines look awesome that looks really good actually like a white on white would be awesome i almost like it just the way it is <laughs> Some HREs would be cool too, to be honest, like proper racing wheels. These things are expensive. They're like over $10,000 US a set. It's it's kind of crazy. I really like those speed lines, but I don't know if, uh, if five spokes work well on it. Ooh, that looks cool. I really like that actually. Let's do that. We have one point to attribute. I wonder where we can pick it up. Let's see if we can have like an intake or something. Perfect. <laughs> a little bit more power. Alrighty, now we're good. Almost 700 horsepower. That's that's quite a bit for the street. Would be cool to do a custom paint job. I'm just not sure exactly what I want to do. All carbon fiber. <laughs> That'd be wicked. Two-tone polished. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know if I want to do that. Let's see what we can do with metal flake. I don't like that. It looks like doo-doo. It doesn't look yellow at all. <laughs> I mean, it does, but it's very pale yellow. Interesting. I always like this color, like a sea foam green. That's kind of cool. Give this thing almost like a retro look. That's pretty cool. I like that color. That's nice. That No, that's not the color that I wanted. That looks horrible. <laughs> white actually looks great on this thing. I think let's just go with white, guys. Brakes. Let's do color matched and some tint. Beautiful. That looks great, actually. I'm really happy with that. Super clean. I'm not sure why there's water on my lens. That's kind of annoying. Might have to take some more uh, photos later, guys. Let's give this thing a test drive. Oh, man. That looks great. <laughs> I love it. Let's take it for a spin. Actually, I want to mess with my suspension a little bit and uh, the rest of my tuning for that matter. A little taller now. Yes, I do like that better. Let's go. Not as fast as before. However, I think way more controllable. We should take it to the Horizon Mexico circuit and basically see how this thing's time compares to my other S1s. Let's do that. All right, here we are. I've got Dapper as my rival, my buddy Dapper. Uh, he's got a 58 second time and my gap to him currently is less than a second. So let's see what that gap is when uh, when I finish it in this car. I'm really digging that color too. That looks awesome. Oof, that's hot. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Maybe a little bit too much flake, but I'm not gonna fret over it. I'm gonna switch from manual with clutch to just manual. I only use manual with clutch for drifting, and uh, let's give it a go. Might take me a lap here, guys, so I'm actually gonna do a lap, and then uh, and then we'll see how I, how I rank afterwards. Now, obviously, consistency in my driving is going to make a difference as well, but we'll get a rough idea of how this car actually compares. All right, so here we go. There's Dapper's 4 GT. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Overshot that like crazy overshot that like crazy that's okay that's okay learning pains okay oh slow down slow down i mean it's i'm kind of on his tail sort of not really i think i've got slightly better handling maybe i don't know maybe better braking really i'm happy with it though i'm happy with it oof oh no uh rewind <laughs> rewind because i want to get another good lap and in order to do that you got to get a good start this is where arrow would actually help quite a bit i almost wonder if putting arrow on is going to decrease or increase our score let's give that a go quickly let's see what we got Ooh, 175 grand good stuff Ooh, that brings us up to an s2 i don't like that rear arrow brings us down Handling becomes way better. We could give that a try. Much slower. Top speed, it seems. But give it a try. Let's give it a try. Why not? And since we're at 898, let's see what we can bump up here. Ooh, 899. 900. Sure, I'll take it. 
Nice, we can handle more G's now. That's awesome. Now, front arrow is actually what I need here, but this might help. All right, back to the circuit, and I'm going to run the stock downforce for now just to see how that performs. Ooh, come on. Oh, I mean, better. Definitely better. There's the 4 GT. We're kind of on his tail. Oh, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oof. That thing's fast. That thing is faster than me for sure. But I got the brake. Ah, I messed up. That's not going to count. Oh, I didn't take that too bad. That wasn't too bad. We're still... Man, that GT is so fast. going keep going keep going i don't think i'll be able to catch him but i am getting better driving this lambo sorry <laughs> lambo <laughs> this r8 but i mean you know man he just guns it out of the hole that's crazy well guys i think this car is pretty solid it's safe to say it's a pretty good car and i think it's possibly time to wrap up this build guys i'm going to go back to the garage i am going to save the tune and share the tune code with you guys if you're interested in it i'm also going to save the livery because i'm really digging it and then i am going to gift the car well hopefully one of you i know it's really not that possible for me to you know ensure that but i'm going to release it out into the world and you never know <laughs> now this is actually cosmo from the future talking guys i have already modified the lamborghini urus and boy did i do a pretty sweet job on it if i do say so myself i did a custom livery on it not just a you know a base color and uh, i tuned it up nicely i i certainly made it into a proper race car i think uh i don't think the flames that it had on it beforehand really really gave the horsepower that the previous owner you know thought they did <laughs> but if you guys want to see that car go from being an ugly ricer to a really cool race car let me know in the comments down below i want to know what you guys thought about this video if you guys did enjoy it i'll be more than happy to release part two and maybe keep this series going uh you know down the line with other auction cars because boys there are an abundance of ugly cars on the auctions <laughs> but uh without further ado guys before i crash here let's go back to the garage and uh, we're going to save the tune, save the paint, and give this car away. I honestly have no clue how to get the share code for this tune, guys. So if you know, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be happy to add it into the description or pin it as a comment. I mean, it's not the greatest tune in the world, but it's a pretty good all-around tune. And let's do the same with the paints now, I guess. Now, I honestly don't know how to get the code for this either, so I guess uh, I guess if you guys know, just let me know about that as well. <laughs> Alrighty, and now it is time to give this car away let's go to the gift center now i actually have about 6.3 million now i had about only half that when i started making this video so i'm perfectly okay just giving this car away i'm not really strapped for cash and uh, i'm sure somebody will be more than happy to get this car what this car cannot be gifted maybe because i'm driving it okay let's pick another car no 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 no, no. i don't want to gift that car this is this is my rsx all righty i'm in my rsx now hopefully i can give that r8 away now i better be able to man that sucks if not i'll just auction that offer super cheap i guess but I, I was really hoping to give it away nice i can give it away okay so here's my dilemma right i want to try and get it to one of you guys i know it's a long shot the odds of that happening are slim to none so i'm thinking maybe i should just give it to a new player you know like how cool would that be to join up in the game and get a sweet ra that somebody made for you you know i think i'm gonna do that I think it's gonna make me happier to make uh, some new players day, you know? So, uh, let's see. What message do I want to send? A card to give you an amazing start. Sure enough. <laughs> there we go. Gift sent, guys. Beautiful. And that's it. She's long gone. <laughs> She's long gone. Now, I actually really liked how I modified that thing. So, I'm just gonna go to my my car here oh no 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 i don't want to give it away <laughs> I, mean, I, could, I could just buy another one but <laughs> i really liked how that car turned out guys i'm actually really bad at this in real life as well i don't think i could ever have a business where i build my motorcycles for a customer i just fall in love with the things that i build you know and i end up wanting to keep them so i would be a really bad businessman in terms of like building motorcycles and custom vehicles for people boom and i have my own same customized r8 again guys it's a win-win you know 
somebody got a cool R8, and I got to keep the R8 that I built that I really liked. <laughs> uh, so there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was very different for me. I typically don't make videos like this, but I really enjoy doing this. I'd like to do more automotive content in the future. So if you're typically the kind of person to maybe, you know, watch and enjoy the video, but not necessarily comment or like, please comment and like the video. I really want to hear from you guys. I want to see, you know, how many people actually enjoy this kind of video because I enjoy it and, you know, I want to make sure that you guys do as well. So if we can all enjoy it, then it's, uh, you know, once again, a win-win. But in any case, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it. And of course, comment if you want to see the video of me modifying the Lamborghini SUV, because that was a really good one as well. I mean, it was all part of the same video originally, but I figured, you know, I'd split it up into two and just see what you guys think about it. But in any case, if you guys enjoyed the video, click the like button down below. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe for more wall smashing content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.